Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Tudor I Hardly Know Her. I'm your host, Garrett, and joining me as always is my co-host, Emily. Hi, guys. And we also have Jeffrey here. Hello. And Jeff, yeah, whatever. I, I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, I know. I'm not that important. I understand. Jeff's very important. I'm the one who just makes you sound good. That's true. And once again, we oh, have... There's like a, like a huge team of people that's needed for that. <laughs> No, no. You've already got a pretty good radio voice, Gary. You've got the face oh, for radio. Stop. Actually, Aww. people who don't know Gary in real life, it just sounds like Mickey Mouse in real life. It takes a lot of <laughs> modulation to get him to sound like he, he, he does. You do some real bass modifications with that. This is my real voice. <laughs> 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 so uh, we also have our guests again, Mr. Mac and Mrs. Mac. Hello. So we decided that they are good guests and we're going to keep them for a couple of episodes. Hooray. Hi, Hooray I'm... Us. I'm Mrs. Hooray Mac. Hooray and huzzah. Uh, today is a special day because we are all drinking. Can you say drinking? Ooh. I love drinking. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is going to be an exciting one for me. I it, only just started. Oh, it's it really is. fascinating. So it's going to be kind of depressing because Mary the First does not have a happy life. Hence the drinking. Alcohol yes. is a depressant. It is, except we're pouring today. one out for Mary. So yes, we're talking about Mary the First, and who is she? She's Bloody Mary. Oh, that's who that is. I she, also like Bloody Marys. We are not drinking oh Bloody Marys. We are all drinking wine and beer. <laughs> hey Garrett, what kind of beer are you drinking today? I'm just kidding. We don't do that again. We didn't get paid um, for it last time. I'm drinking Pepsi and Cat Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Two different drinks, though. Like he just takes a <laughs> swig of Pepsi. And then he sips his Captain Morgan. Brought to you by. I Pepsi. swish around in my mouth, and it all works out in my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay, hold on. Before we get into Queen Bloody Mary, that's a misnomer, by the way. Like, I don't actually think she's Bloody Mary. Uh, last episode, the one where we talked about the Edward the Edward the whatever sixth, when we talked about him. Yes, I am the one who knows the most about the Tudors, and I am calling him Edward the whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Shows how important he was. You've earned that right. The kidnapped kid. Kingnapped. <laughs> so, uh, I had talked about uh, one of the kings of England dying from endless pooping from, uh, what, what was it? Something with a D. Dysentery? Dysentery. Diarrhea. Yes, both. Cha, cha, cha. I mean, they're the same. So uh, that was not that was not Richard the Lionheart. That was King John, who sucked. Which is why all bathrooms Wait, is that are the Robin Hood King John? John. It is now. the Robin Hood King John. I was John. actually just thinking about that today too. It was the Robin Hood King John. All and the bathrooms will be known as John. Yes, and I he was, poops all the time too. It makes even more does. sense. He does. I was adamantly told that I was wrong, and I feel bad about that. However, I did not claim to have the Plantagenet podcast. Also, she's not the one here with a history major. Mac. What's a Plantagenet? <laughs> <laughs> That's where they grow crops. They oh, okay. <laughs> I don't like any of you. <laughs> the Is that one of those tiny bananas? <laughs> <laughs> those are large bananas, Garrett. Uh, no, guys. The Plantagenets ruled England from 1100-something to Henry the Seventh. Guys, why didn't you listen to that episode? I did. No, you didn't. You didn't. We you were didn't. drinking. I listened we're to always all drinking. the episodes. I know you do. Thank you. I was too busy making sure the microphones worked. Yes. So, so I have an excuse. He's focused. So yes. anyway, unlike us. Um, so anyway. King John died from pooping. <laughs> womp womp. Not Richard the Lionheart. <laughs> <laughs> just love hearing that. He died from pooping. <laughs> Especially for such an asshole in history. Uh, yeah, he sucked. <laughs> he, Wait, he didn't really... Elvis die from pooping? What'd you say? Didn't Elvis die from pooping? No, he, like, died he just while died pooping. while pooping. He, yeah, he didn't die Not from Not because pooping. of it. Oh, uh, yeah. you know it wasn't the cause? No. Big no. difference. He was a king, too. He was. Different kind of king. <laughs> he was the king. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Bloody Mary. As I said, her name is a misnomer. She, she got the name just because of all of the... Just... I mean, she had a lot. But the executions during her reign... Um... And it didn't really do much for the idea of a woman ruling the country. It was kind of a disaster. So we're going to talk a little bit about her very depressing and sad life. And I have a lot of sympathy for, for Queen Mary. 
um just because of just it's so sad guys like it's a good thing we're drinking <laughs> it's so sad so do you guys know anything about mary if you stare into a mirror and <laughs> say her name three times what do you know about about mary garrett um gary I know the nursery rhyme, uh, Mary, Mary, Quite all of grace. Contrary, <laughs> and there's the Catholic the in the room. <laughs> that was that was that was her, right? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Yeah, I don't know. I I was. I've heard that like twice in my life, and for some reason, I want to say it's about typhoid Mary. Mm. Let's ask Siri. Hey Siri. Siri, my phone. Are we really doing this? What's the song? Are we really, are we really Mary, asking Mary, quite Siri? contrary about. Well, screw you, Siri. Why does Siri sound like a dude? Because I made it a dude, a sexy oh. British dude. Neat. Yeah, I call him King Henry. <laughs> oh God. The early years. The early years. Nerd. <laughs> Not the later. <laughs> Good job, my dear. Yeah. But I really don't know anything about Bloody Mary, so. Okay. The only thing I can say I know is that she is the daughter of Catherine of Aragon. Good job. That's the only thing I can, I can say I know about her. Good job, Jeffrey. Okay, so let's start with a fun fact. Mary became someone's godmother when she was one. Hmm. And that is the fun fact. <laughs> End of the fun facts. <laughs> and now it's the depressing facts. Yeah. <laughs> and now the rest of the tale. <laughs> now everything else. It all it went downhill from there. Yeah. Age one. So we all know that her parents did not have the best time because she was a girl. She should have been a boy. Uh, she was born in 1516 to Catherine of Aragon, as Jeff said, and Henry. Uh, she was a disappointment, which is sad. But uh, her mother loved her, and her father loved her very much. Uh, she was given a good education. Uh, when her her mom kind of oversaw her education to make sure she was given the best, uh, she had some of the kingdom's greatest minds writing books and just talking about how to improve women's education. Um, so she... At, at age nine, she could read and write Italian. I am 27, and I still can't read and write Italian. Uh, she I also, believe in you. What would you say, Garrett? I said, I believe in you. Let's take it together. I can barely do English. I can say spaghetti. <laughs> um, she was studying French, Spanish, music, dance, and Greek. She was... So... Ella, for some reason, everybody thinks of Mary as a dark-haired child, just like they picture her mother as a dark-haired Spaniard. They both had fair complexions and red hair and blue eyes. So uh, they did not look Spanish as what we think of as Spanish. Because as a reminder, Catherine was related to Henry through their grandparents. So wait, then Mary looked almost kind of a lot like Elizabeth did with like yes. red hair, blue eye. Oh. Yes. Uh, Oh, no, Elizabeth had brown, dark eyes like her mother. Oh, okay. But they both had fair complexions and red hair. Okay. I I always visualize, I actually visualize Mary in my head as a brunette. Everybody does. Okay. Everybody does. Uh, Her father, what'd you say, Gare? I didn't say anything. I'm listening intently. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. So her father doted on her. He he loved her very much um, for someone who made her a bastard later on. In 1525, she was sent to Ludlow, and Ludlow is where the princes of Wales were sent to start their governing, Um, although she was never technically invested as the princess of Wales. She was still called the princess of Wales, and then she went through some various marriage matches because, you know, the princesses were just for marrying for treaties, so... This is everyone she was engaged to or was supposed to marry through discussions. The I'll del- drink for each one. What'd you say? I said I'll drink for each one. Go. You're, you're going to die. Oh, God. The Dauphin of France, the Holy Roman Ooh. Emperor, who, as a reminder, was 22 years old and her cousin. The Dauphin again. And then his father, the king. 
Oh. And then a treaty that said you can either marry the king of France or his son. Is that a twofer? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Are you dead? I made a mistake. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> We never heard from Garrett again. And that's how Garrett died. So in 1531, that was when all of her parents' shit started getting shittier. Um, Mary started becoming ill, and she started having irregular periods, which is relevant, and she started getting depressed. So she was about 17 at this time. Yeah, about 17 at this time. Um and because of her mother's refusal to acknowledge that the marriage to her father was illegitimate or was not valid, she was not permitted to see her mother. So her mother died in 1536. You're talking about when Catherine of Aragon was Correct. thrown to into the tower, right? Well, she wasn't in the tower, but she was sent away. She was sent away. Uh, yeah. So her mother died without Mary ever seeing her. I- I'm pretty sure the last time she saw her was in 1533. So... The last three years of her mother's life. Um, in that year, Mary was deemed illegitimate and she stopped becoming the Princess Mary. She was the Lady Mary. She lost her household and her servants were dismissed and she was instead sent to be part of the household to her sister Elizabeth. So in one fell swoop, she was told, you're not a princess, you're losing everyone you care about and go be a servant to your sister whom you hate. Um, and Mary, Mary refused to acknowledge Anne as queen or Elizabeth as the princess, although she did recognize Elizabeth as her sister. That's part one of the depression. Oh, God. Drink. <laughs> Poor <Okay>. Mary. <laughs> okay, so uh, Eustace Chapuy, Eustace whom we've talked about a little bit before, he was the ambassador of Spain. And he had a close relationship with Catherine of Aragon just because of that Spanish connection. And so he became Mary's confidant, her advisor, and he tried to argue for Mary in court. It didn't go well because Henry was kind of a dick. Uh, She didn't speak. I didn't know this. I knew she had a bad relationship with her father, but I didn't know that they didn't speak to each other for three years. So um, it was all through, like, threats. Um. And then when Henry married Jane Seymour, Jane tried to get Henry to make peace with Mary. And Henry was like, yeah, that's totally cool. We can totally be friends again, except she has to recognize that she's a bastard and I am the head of the church. (laughs) Yeah, he bullied the shit out of her. And he even had one of his advisors. I don't think he told his advisor to say this, but one of his councilmen or advisors or courtiers went to her and said, if you were my daughter, I'd smash your head into the wall until it was pulp. So. Dear God. Jesus Christ. Strength. No kidding. Now, how old was she at this point? Um, Jane Seymour, 1537. She was 21. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not a good time. <laughs> so. Um, she finally relented. And she accepted all of the stuff that broke her heart to accept and she was restored to court henry gave her a household he gave her position at court um in between there was a point where she he, henry didn't have any wives he just didn't have them for some time what'd he do <laughs> uh she became the hostess the, the the formal hostess um apparently she loved to gamble uh so i guess if life sucks just gamble so that was I mean, thing. what are you going to do? I know, right? Um, however, she was still in a lot of danger because during the pilgr- pilgrimage of the gr- of grace, which is a big rebellion that happened because the Catholics were pissed, uh, they demanded that Mary be reinstated. Henry said no. <laughs> and then he executed all of them. Uh, <laughs> Typical Henry. <laughs> Whackity schmackity do. Oh, Henry. He's so predictable. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you can't say he's not. Actually. That's true. No, you could say he is unpredictable because he's crazy. So let me tell you something I learned while I was reading this book. He demanded... So after he reformed the church, he made the bishops write a new 
basic basically a guide to his religion and so they wrote it they sent it to henry he didn't look at it and he approved it and it was published and then like three or six months later he finally looked at it and then he's like what i don't agree with any of this shit so he rewrote it and he put really contradictory stuff within the book you mean like the rest of the bible uh no oh. it wasn't the bible oh wow it wasn't technically the bible wow, that's oh. it was just this is how we read the bible oh, okay, yeah gotcha yeah. so but sick burn man thank you sick burn i thought she's first i was thinking of like frank from always sunny just freezing all of a sudden like deciding to like i like he just like went well, all of a sudden they just tries to change everything and just becomes just crazy banter <laughs> That's Henry VIII. <laughs> yeah. That actually makes sense because like in the beginning. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> what could Wait. possibly go wrong? <laughs> Frank sets Elizabeth on fire. <laughs> did, it, did Henry play Nightcrawlers? <laughs> what? Did Henry play Nightcrawlers? I missed that episode. Yeah, another thing that he plays with Charlie. Oh my God. You don't know Nightcrawlers? We'll, Sorry. We'll, we'll show you Nightcrawlers. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I've been, you know what? I've been a little busy. Oh. Preparing for my super popular, well-loved podcast that is really high on the list of Tudor podcasts. Apology accepted. Thank you. Of all seven Tudor podcasts, we're in the top five. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> shut up. We're better than that. That's a badge we wear with lots of honor around You know here. what? I do. I love my podcast. Make people listen to me. Uh, anywho, Henry was not predictable, but he was also predictable. Burned people, dead people. Uh, in 1539, when when Mary was 23, and at that point she was approaching spinsterhood, she was courted by the Duke Philip of Bavaria, but he was Lutheran, so that didn't work out. Um, okay, I also learned another interesting fact. About, fact, what's funny? Morgan. <laughs> Oh, Lutheran. Sorry about you. Oh, no. I was Duh. thinking about Bavaria. I was like, did he have a lot of cream? Oh, my God. I, I, I doubt she knew. <laughs> Let's be serious. <laughs> Let's talk. Well, when when you find out about Mary's phantom pregnancies, you'll understand. Ooh, more ghost babies. More ghost Ooh. babies. Uh, No. So then there was a suggestion that Mary would marry the Duke of Cleves, which was Anne of Cleves' brother. That didn't happen. However, I learned this today when Cromwell was taken down because Cromwell was the one who arranged the marriage with Anne of Cleves and Henry was pissed. So he's like, eh, figure out something to take him down for. One of the charges was that Cromwell was going to try and marry Mary. That's a charge? You can't marry a royal person without the without the king's permission. That's why one of the brothers in, who was trying to kidnap Edward was killed. Gotcha. Right. You good, Garrett? Are you dead? I'm good. Did the liquor I'm, kill I'm you? I'm following along. There's a lot to. There's a lot to. I know. There's so to much depression. To. So then. Fascinated. Fascinated. Do you guys, do you guys want to hear another another really depressing thing that happened? Yes. In 1541, Mary's governess, the Countess of Salisbury, uh, she was executed because her son was a cardinal for Rome, and he didn't agree with henry so the countess was executed and she was brutally hacked to pieces because the executioner sucked Ooh, i remember reading about this yeah she had her head Whoops, and sorry shoulders. let me try again 11? <laughs> what, was it 11? 11 strokes good yeah. job yeah what it took 11 strokes of the axe to behead her and there are stories that she was chased around the block because, you know, she just had her shoulders whacked out with an axe and it didn't kill her. Ugh. So she ran. Don't know how true those stories are. But it still took 11 strokes to kill her. Did she run before the first one or was no, it after? No, I'm pretty sure she went to the went to the block with dignity. Okay. And then he missed. And then she's like, fuck this like, shit. Well, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well, crap, I tried. this hurts. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, during Edward's we'll reign, we'll take your head off in one clean stroke, or you go free. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be quite nice. That's the deal. Yeah, they they really needed to get some executioners with guarantees. <laughs> there's there's a rumor that somebody um got the executioner drunk the night before, so he would botch it. But I don't believe that. I think last thing I want 
while being executed. Why would you want more... him to botch? Yeah, I don't want a guy fucking up how I'm gonna be killed because yeah. I kind of like you know it to be done quickly. Not, it's not like she take gave the dude fifty wine. swings to Tom Valley dead. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, not, it's like not like you're gonna go free, buddy. <laughs> yeah, no. Once like, that yeah. once the axe hits me once, I'm gonna be pretty much done at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be very upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she just gets mad and starts. She's like kicking his shit. You know what? Out. I actually don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I was fine with this until you missed. She says as she just there's a geyser of blood coming out. <laughs> um so during Edward's reign, Mary openly practiced ca- uh, Catholic mass. Um and we talked about how Edward was a little bit of a zealot who called the Pope the Antichrist. Casey. Oh, yeah. Casey, well, don't remember that puberty moment. <laughs> Little scamp. <laughs> <laughs> Getting king napped and talking about <laughs> crap about his pope. Uh, so there was a plan to sneak her out of England in 1550, mostly because she was Catholic. She It didn't happen. Some Somebody, I don't, I don't know, it just didn't happen. Um, and in fact, in Edward's dying days, she was summoned to visit Edward as he was dying, except Admiral Akbar stepped up and he warned her that it was a trap. <laughs> so <laughs> she didn't go. Oh my god, damn it. <laughs> Thank you. It's a trap. Um so she didn't go to London and she instead fled to East England, and this is when Jane Grey was named Queen for nine days and she got a military and then everybody who supported Jane was like, just kidding, please be queen. So she rode into London on August 3rd where she was um, not crowned, but she was, you know, taking, she took the throne. Uh, she knew that Jane was a pawn. She knew Jane didn't want to become the queen. So she, uh, <laughs> she just put her in the tower because that was really the safest thing to do with her. However, she was in this really awkward spot where every single one of her privy counselors were like, part of the plot to keep Jane on the throne. So she had to figure out something to do with that. Um, She kept them all, but she added a few who were loyal to her. And she was crowned on October 1st of 1553. And at that point, she was 37. And she was like, I think it's time I settled down and found myself a man and made some babies. At 37. At 37. um, The House of Commons wanted her to marry an Englishman. Because, because Mary was a woman, if she had married, a, if if she'd married a man, any man she would have married, he would have become her superior. So he would have become able to do whatever he wanted. So he could become king of England and mm-hmm. rule the country. And they also, she was interested in Philip of, um, of Spain. He was the, the son of her cousin. And uh, she, the cousin she was supposed to marry. Remember in the beginning when we were talking about that? Keeping it classy, people. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm looking at a picture of him right now. And he looks like a big old douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pop collar. You can just see the axe spray on him. He wears two polos and You're hops not both wrong. collars. Double polos. <laughs> His <laughs> cod piece is huge. <laughs> It's just a cucumber and aluminum foil. <laughs> I would like to point out that a cod piece is fake, Garrett. Yeah, I know, but still. I mean, does he have the ridiculously huge chin? Y- yeah. Yeah, that's because of all the inbreeding. Not kidding. <laughs> Ew. The size yeah. of his cod pieces? No, his <laughs> chin. They probably help. Bonus to incest. You have a giant dick. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't start inbreeding because of that, guys. Uh, no, yeah, we, need to, we need to put a PSA that. out about that. His huge chin is because of all the inbreeding. It like like he could balance a plate on it. Nice. So she was interested in her cousin's son. They met at a family reunion. It was really nice. Mm-hmm. And then they left Kentucky. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> to all I'm of our so Kentucky listeners, she didn't mean that. I'm one fourth Kentucky, and I don't really <laughs> take offense to that. I'm really one fourth Kentucky, and yeah. I keep forgetting about that. 
Um, so she insisted on marrying Philip. So she married Philip and then Wyatt's rebellion happened. And that was essentially because they didn't want the Habsburgs to have anything to do with England. And so they tried putting Elizabeth on the throne, which poor Elizabeth, this was super unfortunate. She didn't give a crap. Like she just wanted to be safe. She didn't have anything to do with the Wyatt, with the rebellion, but because they, they did it in her name, she was imprisoned in the tower. And remember, reminder, this was the tower her mother was executed in. Mm-hmm. So. Wow. Yeah. And then on top of that, after that rebellion, they also mentioned Jane Grey. So Jane Grey had to be executed. So they weren't. It was. Yeah. She just didn't. Mary didn't have a good relationship with her with her family. So did oh. anything positive come of that, or is it just no. everyone's executed no. and their life sucks? No, nothing, nothing good how, happened. Elizabeth ju- was in prison for two months. How much younger was Elizabeth to Mary? Fifteen. Elizabeth was born in fifteen thirty three, and Mary was born in fifteen sixteen. So, thirteen years. Oh wow! Did I do that math right? Mm, close enough. Close no. enough. I mean, <laughs> Shut up, Garrett. <laughs> so wait, when was Mary born? Fifteen sixteen. 15, 16, he said 15... 33. Th- oh, 17. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's actually a quite a gap between their ages. Yeah. Right? I mean, she should have been married with her own kids at that point. Or no at least kidding. married. So, um, yeah. Like, her, like, if she had a kid at that point, that kid, like... So then, as a reminder... Would have been the same age as your... As a reminder, Mary was 37 when she took the throne... And she probably wasn't going to get pregnant. And then there was young, vivacious, beautiful Elizabeth. So she was a a late bloomer. Okay. (laughs) She was a late bloomer. That's exactly it. I just didn't know that was that much of a difference between them. Um, So when Philip came over, they got married. And the reason a lot of people were opposed to it was what I said earlier uh, the laws would establish that him being his husband would essentially her husband would essentially make him the king and nobody wanted that. So they created a law that said that they would rule jointly on everything. Any laws that went into effect that Mary had to sign, he also had to sign. Um, but all of these laws only lasted for her lifetime. So he couldn't take the throne when she died. Uh, so there was they also said, you don't you uh philip isn't allowed to pull military support from england for his spanish shit and uh philip couldn't act without mary's consent on anything uh philip was kind of a dick mary was crazy in love with philip and he didn't give two shits about her it was Mm -hmm. a treaty he only married her because it was best for his kingdom drink oh god this poor girl's life just goes downhill more and more. <laughs> Gets worse. Oh, God. So. Mary the First, a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> <laughs> we're, weren't we literally just talking about that? I just that? said that in the last recording <laughs> about Man, <King> Henry. <laughs> <laughs> like, no joke. <laughs> Oh, Gary, your your timing is perfect. <laughs> I try. <laughs> so, um, tra- when before they got married, Charles V ceded Naples to Philip, so Philip would be a king who was marrying a queen instead of just a prince marrying a queen. So she also became the queen of Naples, and they got married on July twenty fifth of fifteen fifty four. Uh, he couldn't speak English, so I guess that was the beginning of a great relationship. <laughs> uh, they communicated via. S- French, Yelling. Uh, French, <laughs> Spanish, and I think Latin. <laughs> he just grunted and pointed to stuff. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'll make um, you a sandwich. It's okay. Romance. So shortly after they got married, she started gaining weight, was nos- nauseated in the mornings, and stopped menstruating. So everybody was like, she's totally pregnant, right? Like, Naturally. Women get sick once nowadays, and everybody's like, of course you're pregnant. That's the only thing you could have. <laughs> uh, it's so, just like dad. <laughs> <laughs> so she started, uh, her stomach started expanding. However, Philip wrote, oh, there. Uh, somebody said that 
somebody. Elizabeth, uh, Mary declared that if she died giving birth, Philip would be the regent of the child. So he'd essentially be in charge. Um, in April, if, okay, so Elizabeth I was imprisoned for two months and then she was put on house arrest. In April of 1555, she was released from house arrest and called to witness the birth, which was pretty normal in those days. Um, however, Philip was writing to his brother or brother-in-law, I think it was brother-in-law, that he doubted there was a pregnancy, which if he was having sex with his wife, he shouldn't be doubting it. So I don't think he was having sex with his wife. And Mary was such a virgin. Oh, this, drink. Do you guys, <laughs> do you guys want to hear one of my favorite Mary stories? Yeah. Yes. I don't know how true this is, but I'm pretty sure it is true. Henry VIII was wondering if anybody could be so innocent as she was. So he asked one of his courtiers to find out. So one of the courtiers went up to Mary and he said, Princess Mary or Lady Mary, have you heard about the newest court game? And she goes, uh, no, please tell me what it is. And he said, it's cunnilingus. And she goes, oh, what's that? Can you tell me about it? And he just, Smooth. yeah, <laughs> he started laughing and walked away. So. Uh, that's that's how innocent Mary was. She she knew nothing. Unless she was, you know, a liar. I don't <laughs> think she was. She's it's Mary. <laughs> uh, so Philip doubted the pregnancy. At one point, there were false rumors that she'd birthed a son, and some prayers were said in Thanksgiving for it. However, she showed signs of pregnancy until July 1555. So well past when she would have given birth. Um. And somebody, somebody said, this is more likely to end in wind rather than anything else. <laughs> oh, man. Ouch. That's cold, bro. Yeah. So that was her first false pregnancy. No, so just a big fart? <laughs> no, just a really big fart. Uh, Mary saw the pregnancy, the false pregnancy. Mary, queen of farts. <laughs> Poopy Mary. <laughs> That's why it never works when I go into the bathroom and say Bloody Mary. Okay. Okay, so after the false pregnancy, Mary saw it as God's punishment for allowing heretics in her realm. And Philip also took off. He's like, all right, since you're not pregnant, I'm going to go GTFO and fight in Flanders. <laughs> so Mary was incredibly depressed. Um, already, She wasn't already. <laughs> right. As if her life wasn't horrible enough. Um, in the meantime, Philip wanted Elizabeth, his, co his, his sister-in-law to marry his cousin to secure a Catholic succession. And she said, no. Uh, so even though a month after her accession, her succession to accession to the throne, there we go. Big words. Uh, so anyway, after Mary, Mary's accession, she, proclaimed a month afterwards that she wouldn't make her subjects follow her religion but then she was like all right jk and then she imprisoned all of the protestant leaders um a lot of them left the ones who could afford it were just like all right i'm not going to deal with this so i'm going to go um she also very quickly in her reign was like oh also my parents marriage was totally valid so i'm not a bastard she also abolished all of edward's religious laws and Parliament repealed all of Henry VIII's laws. So she was back. They were back under Roman jurisdiction. So the Pope was back in power and everything was cool. And then the Heresy Acts were revived. Oh, and that's when a bunch of Protestants left to exile. About 800 of them. And then, and those were just the wealthy ones. So then... In February of 1555, there were a crap ton of executions over a period of five days. And that started it all. Uh, a, a bunch of them were religious leaders like Hugh Latimer. He was executed. Um, Cranmer, who we talked about in a couple of episodes, he was uh, imprisoned and he repented. And he's like, I'm just kidding. I'll totally be Catholic. And... Mary should have legally said, okay, then I won't execute you. Except she was like, no, I fucking hate you. So she was still going to execute him. So on the day of his burning, he was like, you know what? Screw you. I'm still Protestant. And that's how he went out in a blaze of glory. 
<laughs> She's like, see, see. <laughs> um, you know what? Good on Mary. So you know what? Guys, fuck all these people. Yeah. So in <laughs> her time, there were 283 executions. Oh, get it, Mary. And most of them were via fire. How many did wow. Henry have? A lot, but he. Those weren't real lit. Uh, I don't know. He also ruled a way longer. It, the reason Mary, yeah, he reigned a lot the longer. reason like people get upset about Mary being called Bloody Mary is because she didn't have more executions than Elizabeth yeah. or Edward or Henry. Like, uh, it it was probably because she was a woman, to be frank. And all these executions are for heresy, right? Yeah, but Henry the Eighth wasn't like he wasn't cool with people rejecting him. That's heresy to him. So his execu- executions were her- heresy related as well. So, but she, I think uh, another part of it was that she had a lot within a short amount of time. So, uh, it reached the point where Philip's staff, remember, Philip's family did the Inquisition. And Philip's staff was like, "Mm, might want to slow down a little bit. Inquisition, what a a show. show. Uh, (laughs) So, they weren't cool with it. Uh, 1550. What does Philip care? He left. Uh, he came back for a little bit. Did anybody expect it? Hey, honey, I'm back. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know the little section in the show Community when Troy Barnes like, comes back in the room and everything's just on fire? <laughs> That's what I'm just visualizing right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so in 1556, uh, Charles V... Uh, seceded the throne to his son so Philip became the king they were still living apart but Philip convinced her to declare war on France counselors were like no but she was like yes all good so they declared war on France the Pope was not happy about that and so their relationship became strained and then Mary lost Calais so France had been an issue with uh britain for a while uh britain british kings kept trying to take over the french crown and they had a huge portion of french land until friggin henry the sixth happened and henry the sixth lost huge swaths of land tons of land that they had had for for a long long time um The only thing that was kept after henry the sixth was calais it was their beacon it was like the big shining star, the, the possibility of Britain becoming great conquerors again and claiming France, and Mary lost it. So she said that when she dies and they open up her chest, they will see Calais written on her heart. And then oh, Philip yeah. came back and she had a second ghost pregnancy. Oh, my God. I know. Drink. Does she know, know like how pregnancies happen? I don't think so. Damn. Where do babies come from? <laughs> Where is Babby so, formed? Philip visited in 1557 and she thought she was pregnant again. It's more likely she had a tumor. Uh, there oh. was no baby. Goo. That's a completely different thing. She was forced to accept that Elizabeth would be her successor. And in May of 1558, she became ill. Uh, maybe uterine cancer, maybe ovarian cysts. Either way, it wasn't cool. And she died in November at fifty at forty two. Um, oh, during an influ a flu epidemic, so her sister finally took the throne. And for some reason, she wasn't buried next to her mother, even though she requested it. She was buried in a tomb at Westminster Abbey. So was it even in the same region, or is it just way out there? No. Uh, I don't know why. That's very weird. That's a kind of, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Random place for her to want to be buried. Yeah. Um. So her sister took the throne and then the Catholicism thing ended for good, pretty much, in, in England. There were a couple efforts to get uh, Catholic kings back on the throne during the Jacobite Rebellion in the 1700s that happened. Um, and it just didn't happen. So her reign was kind of a big hot mess. Uh, all of her policies were bad. Her marriage was incredibly unpopular. She didn't produce an heir. 
and she was one of the she was considered the first female ruler ignoring empress matilda and jane gray the nine days queen um so, so she was really the like the first queen she of was england. the first queen of england to rule as a queen to inherit as a queen and uh and so she kind of left a sour by elizabeth. she was she was <laughs> followed by elizabeth and a woman left a sour taste in the mouths of many however as the daughters of henry the eighth they were still mary got the mary got the nickname bloody mary in the 17th in the 1600s so well after. she was always drinking so much she <laughs> Um, the but mornings, she would, uh, yeah. in okay. still during the 1500s, she was lambasted. She just, she just, poor Mary. Poor, poor Mary. Oh. So when she died, Elizabeth became the queen. So she died. So Mary died when she was, you said, 42. For, 42. So that would have made. Elizabeth then 25 25 yeah. so Elizabeth was actually still fairly young yeah to become queen yep 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 she queen at 25 and here I am doing what at 28 well I mean, especially not to think she would ever actually become queen when she had like a brother and a then brother a sister and a sister she's like oh I'm not gonna become that ever oh yep. <laughs> well I think I might have almost helped probably Elizabeth because she never was ever in this mindset that I'll be queen um so yeah. actually well, that's kind of actually i was gonna say this for the beginning of the next episode but when mary hold on one second i want to find this quote because i don't want to misquote it hold on one second um i will pull up this that i found about that the uh, nursery rhyme uh mary mary quite contrary da, 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 da. theory is that it's about mary queen of scots that would be also true. Uh, identified with Mary the First of England, with how does your garden grow? Said to refer to her lack of heirs, or to the common idea that England had become a Catholic vassal or a branch of Spain and the Habs Habsburgs. <clears throat> I'm just reading this directly from Wikipedia, so bear with me. It is also said to be a punning reference to her chief minister Stephen Gardiner. 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 There Gardner. we go. Quite con quite contrary is said to be a reference to her unsuccessful attempt to reverse. Ecclesiastical changes affected by her father, Henry VIII, and her brother, Edward VI. The pretty maids all in a row is speculated to be a reference to miscarriages or her execution of Lady Jane Grey. Rows and rows is said to refer to executions of Protestants. Um, okay, I found what I was going to look. What I was looking for. Enlighten me. Okay, <clears throat> when Mary wrote to Elizabeth uh, to tell her that she was going to pass her the royal crown. Mary wrote, it was her intention to bequeath to her the royal crown together with all the dignity that she was then in possession by of by her right of inheritance. And Elizabeth replied, I'm very sorry to hear of the queen's illness, but there's no reason why I should thank her for her intention to give me the crown of this kingdom, for she has neither the power of bestowing it upon me, nor can I lawfully be deprived of it since it's my purpose peculiar and hereditary right so she's Damn. like thanks but you didn't need to tell me that because like you couldn't give it to me because it was already mine damn damn yeah. damn damn so you mary, go girlfriend yeah mary and her elizabeth kind of had that relationship so very very contrary <laughs> so i was gonna save that for the next episode yeah, i'll but drink it i'll came drink to elizabeth now. there that we'll was cool shit what'd you say gary I said, I'm drinking to Elizabeth. That was cold as shit. Yeah. Drink Savage. to Elizabeth. As the kids back. say. <laughs> YOLO and whatnot. Good job to good Queen Bess. That was her nickname. Queen Bess? Queen Bess. Bess Why? is a nickname for Elizabeth. Bessie Blount's real name is Elizabeth Blount. Oh, oh Bess my sounds God. like a heifer. Oh. Because of... Okay, yeah. Well, all right. I keep so, trying to do the math in my head. So Mary ruled for how long? Uh, Five years. I can't math. I think it was five or six years. It was five years. She became queen in 1552. If you use the word approximately, you're never wrong. 
<laughs> um, I learned that in history class. Um, fifteen fifty. Yeah, fifteen fifty ish. Fifteen fifty three. My roommate thought it was funny. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, she she reigned for uh, five years. Okay. Elizabeth God, reigned such for a, sixty. Forever. She reigned <laughs> until sixteen oh three. If only we could get a queen or king that's gonna rule for a while. And who wasn't a tyrant like Henry the Eighth. Oh, if only. I wonder what will happen. <laughs> So, any questions, guys? What does she have to do with the drink? Yeah! (laughs) I don't... The real hard-hitting questions. Maybe she... Was she a giant fan of tomatoes? In the spirit (laughs) of booze. I have not a clue what she she has to do with the drink. I do see what you did there. Uh Good job, guys. Yeah, I don't know what she has to do with the drink. Do we know anything about the... Like mythology around the whole mirror saying her name thing, or is it just like a whole different thing? Hey Siri, uh, hold my wine. Yes, ma'am. Bloody Mary. <laughs> do, 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 do. Urban. We can go do, test do, it right do. now if anyone no. wants to try. No, bourbon. you go test it. It's not bourbon. Urban oh. legend. Bourbon myths are way more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary me, is a that's not bourbon based. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's appeared in a mirror when her name is called three times. It can be benign or malevolent. Ritual. <laughs> Historically, the ritual encouraged young women to walk up a flight of stairs backwards. What the? While holding a modern a edition of Taunting Bloody Mary regarding her baby house. indicates the legendary figure's conflation with the historic figure Queen Mary I, also known as Bloody Mary, whose life was marked by a number of miscarriages or false pregnancies, and is remembered for her violent religious reforms. Okay, well, thanks, Garrett. I was reading earlier on in that. Mm, I just want to get to the. Get oh there. my god, that's horrible! Please share. No, it's just the first part of what Garrett was reading. I missed a it. modern edition of Taunting Bloody Mary regarding her baby is talking about Mary's phantom pregnancies. That's so awful. I know she's dead, but dude. Wow. Do you guys want to go try it in the bathroom? You can. Have fun. Let's not, we'll go. not. No, it's ghost. This has become a weird horror film now. Well, we talked about doing a ghost episode. I, mean, I know, but no, I'm just sort of like, this is right. like a weird horror film. Like, Think of the ratings for this episode. Movie. Guys, you can go into the bathroom and do the Bloody Mary, because I'm not. So, do you guys have any other questions? No, I think, I think I've got it all. It's another cool. one where it's just like, because he's such a, such a short, such, such a short reign. Yeah, but she's got such a depressing life. It's Very super depressing. Well, it's like when we talked about Jane Seymour, how like she just wasn't around long enough to really have anything information about. Yeah, but at about. least Mary was interesting. Yeah, in Mary, her, Mary in had a lot more interesting scenar- things happen to her during her life. Yeah, so. Uh, I think we should be good. On I think we're, we are I, good I as feel, well. I feel like like you sticking up for her and saying she doesn't deserve the name Bloody Mary. I, I don't think that's true. I think, I think she kind of deserves it. But she doesn't. She, yeah, but I mean, yeah, she she had you know. Yeah, she didn't murder all those people, comparable, but, but it's okay. It was a lot in a short Hold amount on. of time. Hold on, I'm not. We're not done yet because I'm I'm gonna look up this. Okay, but who didn't murder people in that day and age? I know. We should have been alive during all the executions. Yeah. I could have murdered yeah. so many more people than I do now. <laughs> I wonder what life was like back then. Right. Back then. Back then. <laughs> <laughs> dilu, dilu, dilu. One of the main reasons why the burnings are remembered was that they occurred so frequently in such a short amount of time. 300 burnings over a three-month period. However, her father ordered the deaths. Who wants to guess at how many people he ordered the deaths of? 500. Oh, oh you guys are so cute. Oh, Mac? God. 500 is cute. 1,300? You're cute. What? Garrett, you get one guess. How many people? 
Did Henry Price VIII is right here. order the death of? Without going 2, over. 2,200. 37,000. Wow. What? Wow. And in Elizabeth's reign, who wants to guess how many Elizabeth had executed? Well, that's not fair because she had 60 years to execute people. Uh, how many do you think she had executed? Ooh, let's like do the math. 120,000. 200,000. Jesus, Gary, you were... <laughs> 150,000. Guys. What? 600. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. No. 600 people? Yes. <laughs> Wait, just like no thousand, just 600? <laughs> so she was not crazy pants like her dad. She's, okay, so Mary did a lot of executions in a short amount of time. Yes. And they possibly would have gone on longer had she reigned longer. Oh, yeah. But compared to her crazy pants father... <laughs> <laughs> who did reign longer and killed 37,000. But then you go to like the fact that then his daughter, and Elizabeth, only did like not like barely yes. even like a percent of that. Yes. That is so mind boggling. This yes. is some sexist <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Wait, yes. How? Because, because she was probably, it was probably because she was a woman too. Like, I'm not trying to be a crazy feminist. Henry. Well, probably was Henry was. She the, was the, the six wives things kind of distracted, you know, the, you know, didn't, killings. Di- didn't kill us, distract him from killing 37,000. You can only focus on so many deaths. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Oh, so. God, that's just messing. I can't believe that. That's so ridiculous. That amount of people he executed. Yeah, those numbers are all over the board. <laughs> that's a lot of people. Yeah. So. Let's do a recap. Mary married a Spanish, a Spaniard that the kingdom did not want. She Correct. enacted Philip. pretty vicious Catholic laws that meant that majority of the kingdom who'd been practicing Protestantism for quite a while could no longer practice. And then she burned a ton of heretics. However, her dad was crazy pants who killed 37,000 people and a couple of wives. I, I do th- feel like if she had like ruled much longer, she might not have gotten the name Bloody Mary, but like it's she would have been seen uh, like it, it's like Edward. If he if Edward had reigned longer, he would have been a tyrant, a zealot. Mm-hmm. Mary probably would have been the same. And I, I'm just kind of happy she didn't because I don't think she had very good policies in terms of government. But she, the name is not deserved. So, any other questions? Well, the better, best way to end on a, this subject. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty I agree. appropriate. I got it. So, next time we'll talk about Elizabeth I, and that one is probably going to have to be broken into a couple of episodes. Yeah, because 60 years of rain has years. a lot of information to cover. Yes. Yep. So, like, that's practically like, that's because Henry VIII was only king for. How long? Like maybe um, 40? 1511 to 1547. 1509 to 1547. Yeah. So like around yeah. 40 years. Yeah. And her to be 60. Yeah. Was she, 50. Was I'm sorry. Hers is like 55. 50 she's 55. the longest reigning monarch, right? No, 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 no. Victoria reigned for like 80 years and current Queen Elizabeth is go. She just celebrated her Diamond Jubilee, which was... Uh, 75 years. Oh, wow. Because she, uh, Queen Elizabeth, the current Queen Elizabeth II, she inherited the crown at 25, too. Just the same as Elizabeth. So. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> well, we'll get to that when we get to that one. So, we'll talk about Elizabeth <laughs> yeah, next. Yeah, let's save it. That'll be either one really long episode or two long episodes. Yeah, <laughs> I think that one probably, probably two. Long two. Well, let's get it is Elizabeth. She's a, she's a very hugely significant yeah monarch yes so uh as always rate and review us please on itunes it, please it, review us on itunes like i, I like I, reading I, them I do but like it i, I like, like reading it but legit reviews beyond that it uh it helps other people find us so whenever somebody else is like i want to find a tutor podcast then they type in tutors 
Ours currently Absolutely. shows up. Absolutely. And and it's and we can tell that it's been working like yeah. amazingly. No, it's been so helpful, guys. We love it. It's super so awesome. Thank you for the great support we're getting right now yeah, already from our listeners. That doesn't mean stop. It means keep going. <laughs> so yeah. continue to share the podcast. Uh give us feedback. Talk to us on Twitter. I've got someone I've been talking to on Twitter lately who makes me so happy because she tells me what she likes about every episode and it just it makes me so glad. So uh, do all that stuff and make us feel awesome. And we'll talk we will talk to you next time. Yeah. So until yeah. then. So Facebook at Tutor I Hardly Know Her. On Twitter at Tutor Know Her. Then mm-hmm. I think that's just the two places you can message us or contact us on there. Yep. But until then, Garrett. Uh divorce beheaded, beheaded, beheaded died. died. Divorce, divorce beheaded, 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 beheaded survived. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.